founder of tradercob.com. I've, I've been, um, well, I trade crypto. I've done for the last three years full time. Um, and I've been trading for 15 years of my life. Stocks, bonds, commodities, FX, you name it. Um, I learned how to do that from some great mentors when I lived in London. I'm in Bondi Beach, Sydney, Australia now. And um, yeah, full full time on crypto. Simple reason, mate. It's the most volatile market in the world. Uh, as a trader, I, obviously the first thing you got to do is manage your risk. But if I can manage, if I can risk that much, and I'm risking say a thousand dollars per trade, the same in stocks. Well, I'm not going to get as much movement. If it's crypto, my upside potential is far greater uh, for profit. So. Um, yeah, I started TraderCob.com, which is a crypto education business for traders, um, specifically, you know, focused on traders because that's really all I know. I'm, I'm a trader, <laughs> simple as that. And uh, we've literally uh, on Saturday just launched a brand new platform with a free course there as well. So pretty epic timing for, um, for everybody here. And um, yeah, I love it. I'm a technical trader. I use checklists. So literally, I don't want people to think too much, if that makes sense. It's once you start thinking, you start adding emotion to things. Um, and most people aren't equipped to deal with that emotion at the very beginning. It's just about ticking boxes. I only have three strategies and they're very straightforward. So yeah, that's me. All right, so let, let, let's take a step back. What was your yeah. coming to crypto moment when you first discovered Bitcoin? Oh, yeah, tell us about oh. that. <laughs> uh, look, I was introduced to it in 2013. Um, I didn't get in then. At the time, I was pretty much mostly trading foreign exchange and equities. That was that was sort of the two markets uh, and indices, by the way. Um, but I was like, look, there's you know, for me as a technical trader, so I read charts. Yeah, I'm like, there's 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 no liquidity. There's I, I can't do anything with this. I wasn't a tech entrepreneur or tech um, investor really. I just I was just trading. So I sort of kicked it to the curb. You know, like keep your funny internet money. I'm I'm out of here. Um, and I got into it in 2017 again, in July of 2017, when a mentor, not a trading mentor, just like a business mentor, um, life coachy type person, you know, uh, said, look, you got to check out this crypto stuff, Cobby. And I went, oh, no, what are you, what are you doing here? You know, what, 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 why? I said, oh, I respect this person. I'll go and have a look. And I'm like, wow, it's grown up. It's almost like a 12 year old now, <laughs> you know, it can, it can talk and communicate and there's stuff that I can do. Uh, and, and from that moment on, I look, I started investing in July. I, I didn't go big into it. I did pretty well off of that run because I got out. Um, and, and yeah, for, it was actually, as it was running out through July, I was out there trying to find some more credible people like me, you know, traders, like mm -hmm. what information do I need? You know, like, is it non-farm payrolls? Like what's the non-farm payrolls of crypto? there isn't any you know what's the what, what's the gdp well there kind of isn't anything what, what drives this market and i went it, it just seems to be pure speculation so i can forget all that crap and just have a crack you know you use the strategies that i've been using for the last i you know, say probably 10 or 11 years untouched now the first four years i was a shocking trader um but i got good at it by, by persisting and working with the right people and um yeah it just it's 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 grown it's matured i, I couldn't find very many credible people back then. Uh, I know that there are now. Um, and that's really why I started TraderCobb.com. It's because I thought, you know, bugger it. If, if, if people are charging, I mean, back, back then, you know, they were charging like one or two Bitcoin for, for a course that was just like the stuff that you, you, you start in your first year and then you end up you losing money and going, I, I'm going to have to do something else because this doesn't work. It was just literally people cutting and pasting from Google and going, here's my trading course. And it's like, ouch. So it really pissed me off, to be fair. Um, and I'm sure Bill's probably got a similar sort of feeling on that, that, you know, our business, mate, like of, of trading and being a trading educator, for those that have sort of come down in the, in the bull market, you know, runs, um, it shits me to tears, excuse my French, because you're just yeah. like, God, like, you guys don't know what you're doing. What, 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 just because you've got a following doesn't mean you're, you, you know what you're talking about. I mean, on social media, sure. If you're selling a social media course to show me how to get better followers, hey, I'll buy that. You qualify <laughs> for that one. But for everything else, it's like, why do people put so much faith into people because of their followings? Um, and that, for me, it's still a motivating factor um, to try and get this, you know, what we do out to, to the masses. And we offer more free stuff now to try and help people in. So it's been a big journey, man, and it's certainly, it's certainly, I, I think, just begun. Right place, right time, right skill set. I'm, I'm ready. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> absolutely. I mean, because 
I've been in this, in this space since 2016 and I've seen so many traders come and go. But one thing that really impressed me was your platform because I ha had a, a chance last year to check it out. And the course was very, very well put together. I think one of the most professional okay. trading courses out there. And ever since then, I knew, because even though you were still kind of up and coming and you, you, you hadn't blown up yet, I knew this guy was coming, yeah. right? So well, welcome on the show, great to have you here. Now, for those who don't know, uh, Bill, how about doing a quick intro as well on yourself? All right. Uh, so I have, I have a different background uh, as an analyst, uh, as a technical analyst, uh, going all the way back to when I was 18, when Iraq invaded Kuwait. So that's how far I go back. Uh, <laughs> I, was, I made a living being the chart guy in highly volatile markets. So Morgan Stanley turned to me from a startup in the dot-com bu bubble. And I worked for Goldman from 2004 to 2012. Uh, where I was kind of the underground newsletter, you know, break glass in case of a uh, big problem. And, uh, you know, I had kind of a coming out party in 2008. And then, mm -hmm. like Trader Cobb, I got a call from ex Goldman colleagues in 2017. And they're like, hey, Bill, take a look at crypto. And I actually started charting it by hand. And at, at that moment, when I just looked at the charts, I was like, wow, you know, this is really, I finally found what I wanted to do when I grew up. Right? <laughs> <laughs> so I got a crypto education uh, with Charlie Shrem. Uh, he, he, I worked with him and then now I'm here with Ian and Tokenmetrics. Awesome, awesome. Welcome, Bill. And for those who don't know, I'm Ian Bellina. Uh, I come more from, an, from a data, I would say data part of things. So I worked at IBM Watson for four years, working in IBM Watson analytics. Uh, and I love big data. So when I joined crypto in 2016, it initially it was just more like try and invest in trade, but trading is not my expertise. That's why we have Bill on, we have Trader Cobb on. I came more from the Moneyball quant side of things of how can we leverage analytics, data, and now even AI to go out there and find winning investments in trades. And with that, ended up building Tokometrics. I'm the founder and CEO of Tokometrics. Uh, if you haven't yet joined, be sure to join. And with that being said, I think let's hop into the show.